there are a few important power rules you must know. And this is where you're timesing or dividing or have brackets with things involving powers. Now the first one, 2 to the power of 5 times 2 squared. Now 2 to the power of 5 is just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. But that's 5 lots of 2 times together. The second one is then times by 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. So altogether there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the first part, 2 more from the second part, so in total that's 7. So that just equals 2 to the power of 7. There are 5 there, there are 2 more, 5 and 2 is 7. So when you times together two numbers with powers, you add the powers. So for the second one, 2 to the power of 11 times 2 to the power of 20, the shortcut here is to do 11 plus 20, which just equals 2 to the power of 31. So when you times, we add the powers. When you divide, you just reverse that and you subtract the powers. So 2 to the power of 14, take away the power of 3, just becomes 2 to the power of 11. Now brackets can look quite confusing, but actually this is quite an easy question. Now 2 cubed we know is just 2 times 2 times 2. And the power of 4 just means that this occurs 4 times. So that's the first occurrence. Then it occurs again. That's its second occurrence. Then it occurs again. That's its third occurrence. Then it occurs again. That's its fourth occurrence. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's just 2 to the power of 12. And the shortcut here is to observe that the 3 has occurred 4 times. 3 times 4 is 12. The final one, which we'll not prove in this video, is something to the power of 0. And it's worth knowing that anything to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. And a future video will prove that fact.